Semno Mitra Sem Varunaha Semno Bhavatvaryama Semna Indro Brohaspati Semno Vishnu Ruru Kramaha Namo Brahmane Namaste Vayo Tvaneva Pratyaksham Brahmasi Tvameva Pratyaksham Brahmavadi Shyami Ratam Vadi Shyami Satyam Vadi Shyami Tanmamavatu Tad Vaktaramavatu Avatu Maam Avatu Vaktaram Om Shanti 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 Sarva-Vedārdha Tattvajñam Vedārdha Pradipādakam Purāna-Sārha Sarvajñam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum So, now in the next one is Nama Akhidate Cha Nama Akhidate Cha Akhidate Cha Akhidate Prekhidate Cha So, Akhidaha is the word. Akhidaha means the one who does the labor, that means the physical work. That means there are many people in different uh, professions like for example the masons, the carpenters there. Like this there are many people who have, who work very much physically. So, so their, uh, their, their physical strength is used to, to do the hard work. So those who work hard physically, uh, so, the, so that such person is called Akhidaha.
so he will exert himself he will exert his body he uses his strength for physical work for others so salutations to rudra who is in the form of those who exert themselves by using their physical strength to do the work for others and then the second word is prakhida 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 so prakhida it symbolizes those persons who employ these people that means who make these people work by employing them into the work so this is a the relationship of employer and employee so it is it it, it denotes the the social structure so one person has the capacity to employ the persons who could work so this person has the capacity to employ many people and uh, uh, and make them work by by paying them of course but to make them work so there is employer and there is the employee so if both of them can realize can remember that it is the lord consciousness it is the rudra who is also there in the form of employee who are working hard with their contributing their strength and these people also to remember if there is nobody to employ them how they cannot do so that is also rudra so both of them if they have this uh, understanding then it will be very good in the society <laughs> then they will have uh, a, a, a good relationship if we don't uh, if we only remember the persons and not the uh, indweller the lord then what happens is then starts all the disharmony <laughs> then what happens is that 
the one who who is an employer he will he will think in a, uh, in a commercial manner so how much he can ex work he can extract from these people so this he thinks uh, <laughs> and then when he is like that they also will be like that then these people who are employed they will also think about not about how much we have to work but they will think how much we get the remuneration maximum from the employee from the employer <laughs> then there will be two groups the capitalist and the communist <laughs> capitalist <laughs> and the communist <laughs> so <laughs> but both of them because uh, they have uh, no understanding of the inner consciousness this therefore both of them are defective so either the communist also his thinking is not proper and this fellow uh, who is so called capitalist also is not proper therefore there is no proper relationship in the society <laughs> <laughs> so in <coughs> when you when you study sveda you will realize that it is i you have to see not only the person or the form but you have to see the inner light then you will have a good uh, relationship good understanding and all this <laughs> but there are always some demonic forces who work against the plan of devas and they try to influence the mind of these people <laughs> so that they want to keep them separate always divided so that they can have their power in their hands <laughs> if the if the employer and the employee if they have a good relationship then these fellows cannot have a, a hold a grip on them <laughs> when you when you study the mantras in the vedas they are not only the mantras for rituals for all this but they are also they give a direction a solution for the social existence
प्रेयर बुक पटा सर वेन वेन यू वर्क फॉर एक्सापल वेन यू वर्क इन द फील्ड और वेन यू वर्क टूगेदर इन एनी इन एनी फील्ड और इन एनी ऑफिस और इन एनी इन एनी वेयर वेन यू वर्क इन ए ग्रुप You see, in the zodiac uh, prayers in this book, you have in the sign Libra. There is in this uh, Libra meditation. There is a mantra taken from the Veda. सो संगछध्वम संवदध्वम संवो मनांसि जानता देवा भागम यथा पूर्व संजाना उपासते सनो मंत्र समी सनी सन सह चिमेषा सनम मंत्रमंत्र सनो हविषा जुहोमी सह सनी आकूति सामना हृदया वह सामनमस्त वो मनो यथा वस्तु सहासती सो द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज वॉक टुगेदर स्पीक टुगेदर लेट युअर माइंड्स बी नॉन परफेक्टली just as the devas assemble for their share for their share what we offer to devas so their share when we invoke devas the, the devas will assemble when we invoke devas for offering when we offer so they they, they assemble to receive it <coughs> so just as the devas assemble for their share in perfect communion in the same old fashion may you have common counsel 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 may you have a common assembly may you have a common mind may you have a common consciousness may you work out a common plan I oblate with the common offering for you all. I oblate means I offer with common. I make common offering for you all. May your may your zeal be balanced. May your hearts be balanced. 
may your minds be balanced that you may live together well that so that you may live together well this is this is the real communism <laughs> our socialism <laughs> You see, in Veda, in Vedas, even now it is possible if we want to live. <laughs> Page one fifty-eight in Libra. meditation of libra <laughs> you know there was a very famous emperor king a very famous emperor a famous king who was called janaka he was by janaka he was the father of sita sita the wife of rama so she was brought up by janaka and his wife so this janaka he in his kingdom he may, uh, janaka is uh, janaka is also a title for for all the uh, rulers of that clan janaka is a title his his original name is siradhvaja 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 dhvaja means dhvaja means the banner dhvaja means banner the flag so kings you know the king emperors have their flags eh? uh, on their chariots and they have the flags so on his flag there is always the symbol of the plow <laughs> <laughs> so sira means that part of the plow with which you go into the ground and start plowing the plow the this part which goes into the ground with which so in 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 their kingdom all the people irrespective of their class of society and their work everybody has to work in the field <laughs> the king himself every day in the morning he used to complete his ritual and he used to work in the field along with the people <laughs> and they they were chanting this mantra <laughs> we walk together we speak together <laughs> so in their kingdom nobody is the owner of uh, 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 the land or owner of the properties everybody works and uh, everybody 
will produce and everybody enjoy commonly. It is common. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody in the kingdom can live happily without uh, fear or anxiety. <laughs> so that is the real communism. <laughs> <laughs> So if somebody uh, uh, does not like to work in the field, he cannot live in this kingdom. <laughs> so, therefore, employee Employer and employee, this relationship, when they remember this God, Lord Consciousness in everybody, then both of them can live harmoniously, there is no problem, by sharing, by cooperation and sharing. So the employee will work with joy, with devotion, with dedication. And the employer will never think of taking advantage of this. He will, he will also take care of all of them. <laughs> so this should be the the leading aspect of the society and then you will have a real uh, you no know, happy existence of all the people. You know, actually, how Master E.K. has trained us. When we were, when we were young and when we, we were, we were completing our education, So from the very beginning we were trained to use not only mental capacities, our physical strength also for a constructive work. So in that training we were so trained that we can we can we can attend to any sort of work we don't fear <laughs> Работу, 
and he he trained us that you don't uh, <coughs> think yourself uh, uh, to, that somebody should employ you and you should earn money by employment be constructive and be self sufficient and you start contributing your capacity then you can live in this society that is why that is how we were trained So he told us that you should not run after somebody for employment. You can, you can do some creative work, and you can produce yourself. <laughs> so we used to we used to go with him into villages and go with him to work for the people And then, how we have to make our livelihood then? Then he said that everybody will have certain capacity. So he said, make use of it, and you make a self-employment. So first, we were uh, put to the work of a printing of books. It was not uh, today's with technology. It was the very uh, preliminary. So we have to put all the letters. We have to arrange. We have to do with this machine and all. That is the old style. <laughs> <laughs> it is really very hard work. <laughs> you know, when I have completed my uh, post graduation in the university. in Sanskrit. So there was an offer from Belgium. <laughs> so somebody wrote a letter to master that if you can send your son, we can make him employed as a professor in the university in Brussels. <laughs> This was as early as 1973-74, like that. <laughs> I was very young. 
I was very young then. No? So he called me and said, Do you want to go? If you want to get employed, so you can go and join. <laughs> I said, I will follow your instruction. I don't make any decision. <laughs> then he said, you need not go as an employee. <laughs> Later you have to go several times in a different manner. <laughs> <laughs> so, he instructed us to start this printing press. So, we have employed some very young fellows into our press. And trained, and trained them and the press became self-sufficient. <coughs> and then he said, now they are well trained, so you entrust this press to them, they will work out and you come out and you have to establish another one. <laughs> So, anything to experiment, he started he, with his own children. <laughs> and later, he made, he made us to start Kutir. Kutir Industries. Kutir, Kutir Industries. <laughs> so, the, the, in the beginning, very hard work. <laughs> we have to do all the work by ourselves. <laughs> so, gradually, start developed and people were employed. And those people also started to work with us and then they can enjoy. So, that this principle, he said, you have to apply this principle, employer and employee, both are having such a relationship. You remember always the inner consciousness, then there is no problem. <laughs> so, many families then they followed his example and they sent their children who also joined and built up their own self-employment units like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that is how master used to train us. <laughs> because his his intention is that if if you get employed and get good money and earn by yours only for yourself, what you are doing for all others for the society. Uh, 
какую пользу вы приносите для общества через это? So you have to get a confidence that you can be creative, you can do something for the society, then you can live along with all of them, all the people. So this is the principle. <laughs> When we take care of other people, automatically they also will have the same uh, mind, same intention, just like how we have read in this. They also will feel like that and everybody will take care of all others. So then that society can, can live properly. <laughs> <laughs> so unless we implement this, unless we practice this, we cannot know it's uh, how it will be. <laughs> so that is what Akhita teja. <laughs> and then the next one Namo Vaha Kirike Bhyo Deva Nagam Hurdaye Bhyaha Kirike Bhyaha Vah Kirike Bhyaha Vaha Kirike Bhya. Kirike Bhyo means Kirike Kirike Bhyo. Right. Namo Vah Kirike Bhyo Deva Nagam Hurdaye Bhya. Master always used to tell us that there is no use of uh, 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 publicizing or shouting about uh, all, all your uh, you know, communism, capitalism, socialism and imperialism. All these things, you have named them, but you, if, you, if you don't uh, implement them, on only making political people, you see, in the political people always make, raise their hand and says, hail communism or hail this. Master used to say, don't do that. You, you work, you prove yourself. There is no use of making noise like that. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of in the name of political parties in the name of religions all, all the nice they are making <laughs> so it is of no use for anybody You have to show your contribution. <laughs> so now in this Kirike Bhyaha Namaha Namo Vah Kirike Bhyo Namaha Vah Kirike Bhyo Three parts Namaha Separate Namaha Vah Kirike Bhyaha Kirike Bhyaha.
Vaha Namaha Namaha means salutation or salutation. Vaha means for you. Kirika, kirika, kirika means the one who just uh, uh, give out uh, <coughs> the wealth. So, this is the reference to the Devas. So, Kirike Bhyaha, Kirike Bhyaha, Deva Nagam means Deva Nam, Hurdaye Bhyaha, Deva Nam, Deva Nam means of the Devas, of the Devas, Hurdaye Bhyaha, Hurdaya means heart. Devanam Hurdaya Bhya means the hearts of the Devas. That means it is uh, an address to the Rudra. So here our salutation to you, O, o Rudras, you are the hearts of all the Devas and you are always showering and sprinkling all the wealth and all these things for us. So, the Deva, Deva Nam Hurdaya, that means the hearts of the Devas means So how how can we know the devas first of all? Because we cannot physically perceive them, we cannot see them physically. Why are the devas are not physically perceptible to us? <coughs> Why they hide themselves? This is often the question put by many people. <laughs> if we speak of devas, somebody says, can you show the devas when they are not, it is not possible to see them? Huh? If the devas are there, why they why then don't uh, stand before us? Why cannot we see them? Why they are not perceptible? So these are all the questions. <laughs> In the Veda itself. It is said that Devas, Deva Paroksha Priya Deva. That means Devas like Paroksha. Paroksha means not directly perceptible, but they want to be they work, they want to work on the background, as the background. Paroksha is the background. Background. Back, background, background, not black. Sometimes. 
suppose suppose you want to see eh near the deva directly but your capacity to perceive something is by the working of the deva himself so i feel that i am able to see but how can i myself see the sense of sight working in me makes me to see some object the sense of hearing makes me to listen to some sound the sense of smell makes me to experience some something some smell the sense of taste makes me to 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 to, uh, to enjoy uh, uh, the taste or to find out to uh, the about the taste which taste so how can you how you are, how i am able to feel the taste how i am able to enjoy the taste how it is is it by myself it is the it is the sense of taste working in me so sim- similarly sense of touch so by touching something i feel this is hot this is cold how can you feel like this it is sense of touch so all this activity of the senses is it uh, by my effort this is all <laughs> the work of the devas see these our existence all the our existence and the working of all the faculties in us <coughs> these faculties are the devas so how can you how can you directly physically see a faculty <laughs> <laughs> 